thank you for coming back to my channel. I skipped last week putting out a video and here I am back and ready to do a video for you guys. I am bringing you quite a few changes that I have made to my living room. What it was, it kind of ended up being a, um, if you give a mouse a cookie, how does that go? Like it just kind of keeps going. The surprise project that I'm working on kind of forced me back into my living room. And so I kind of put a pause on that project and made some changes to my living room. And one of the changes is probably going to be um, a lot for some of my viewers and they're not going to understand. So just bear with me. One of the changes I made is I gave my piano away. Uh, it served its purpose in our home. So with the, uh, with, excuse my kids, we've got the, the pool is opened back up. It's warm here. And so you're going to hear my two younger out there being loud and swimming. Anyhow, I know I've talked to you guys about my couches, how dark they are. And it was time to make some changes to this living room. Okay, so back to the piano. The piano, the wood tone was just competing. I felt like actually it was, it was competing with the whole room, the tone of the wood and really, um, I don't know what the word would be competing or what it just wasn't flowing. Anyhow, you guys, the piano being gone has opened up this wall so much. And I feel like now you can see the, this isn't actually a um, shiplap. I don't know what this would be called. It's just like board panels. It really shows off this board paneling wall now. Like it is like, I can really, really, really see it now. So, and with that wood being out of here has really lightened up my space here in the living room. And it was a great change. It is flowing so much better in here. And I should have started off really quick. I should have started off with these chairs because I'm sitting in it and you guys see it. So during the surprise project, I had the thought to add these white chairs in here that I've already had. I just um, haven't had them on proper display yet. So I brought these white wing back chairs into my living room. You guys, with the dark piano gone, and then these white wing back chairs have settled down my living room so much, literally. So now I've got the cream and white tones going on and the drop cloth curtains behind this chair looks so pretty and the blue chairs are not, I, I held on, I have them, but anyhow, I still have the blue chairs, but they're no longer displayed in the living room. And the white wing back chairs is just something that my living room really needed. And I'm happy with this change that I made to our living room. And I showed you guys this white piece of furniture that I was working on and here it is all completed and it's a creamy white color. So up against the white wall in my living room, it looks pretty. It kind of stands out. Taking out the oak buffet that I had here, again, helped tone things down with my dark couches. Because if you were in my living room in person, you would know how domineering these couches are. And I've probably, I've said it before, but with my three boys, it's not an option for me to have all white furniture. Okay, so this white piece turned out beautiful. 
and it's cottage and it could maybe be farmhouse. I don't know, but it's definitely cottage, okay? And the fun thing with going with whites and creams, you can always add color in. At Christmas, I can add red or green. In the spring, I can add uh, paler, brighter colors. And I mean, right now I'm wearing a green dress and I'm not competing with this chair necessarily. It's just, it's going with the color palette. So the white piece of furniture, the new buffet right here helped calm things down and my crystal lamps look pretty on it. So, yes, anyhow, I'm not going to tell you guys where this piece of furniture came from just yet, but it ended up working so well uh, right here in my living room. And yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about this. Then I also painted this wooden trunk. This was all stained wood. And again, you guys with the, the dark couches, so I had dark leather couches, the stained wooden box coffee table, an oak stained buffet, and then more like a mahogany stained piano. So there was so much going on in this living room. And now things are just flowing and it's almost like a softer palette for me to work with. And my rugs go better now with these chairs and the cottage, the cottage core painted piece. So, oops, it even improved my rugs. It improved my curtains. So, definitely made some better changes. some fresh changes and what a good time with spring is spring is leaving rather quickly here in California and it's starting to warm up so now it's just brighter and uh, calmer and softer in here so yeah that is my changes to my living room and Again, it's not, my living room has not arrived. And even when you think a room has all the way arrived, I feel like that there's always something you could be, especially if you're a decorator. If you're not a decorator, it's hard to understand how can you change your house so much? How can you be moving things around? But when you're a decorator, 
your mind will just see, okay, I could improve that area or that needs to go because now I've purchased this and I'm gonna move that in its place. And it's almost like an ever evolving process. And that's not a bad thing. Uh, what helps me with my living room, and I've told you guys this before, is I try to keep it livable and pretty. Even though my living room is not exactly, it's not exactly what I would just do, but it's a work in progress and it's a blessing that I have this living room to work with. So yeah, that is my updated living room for this summer. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for being here. And thank you for being here as I create Cottage Diaries.